if any one person in your life does not support you for who you truly are, then that person does not deserve to be in your life. My name is Rachel Butis and I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I work for Ronstad US as a delivery manager. I am engaged to my partner, Brittany. She and I have been together for five years now. I actually proposed to her last May. My mother loves my partner, Brittany, so much. They talk all the time, and I'm so grateful for that. When I first started with Ronstad, I was a recruiter, but within my first year, I was promoted to account manager. And one of my responsibilities was to develop our business. In this one particular instance, I was at lunch with a client. Towards the end, the client had asked me if I had any plans this coming weekend with my husband. I didn't say, actually, um, I don't have a husband. I have a fiance that is a woman. And I was worried that if I corrected her because she made that assumption about me that she might change her mind in working with us. It was a moment of like, oh, like, can I can I be authentically me? Is, is it going to impact our business negatively? So I had a conversation with my area manager at the time and without hesitating, she responded and said to me, Rachel, if a client does not want to work with Ronstad because you're gay, Ronstad does not want to work with that client. This was major. <laughs> like I think now just reflecting on it, I, I didn't necessarily realize how big of an impact that moment had on me both personally and professionally I was maybe not fully embracing who I was in all areas of my life so that really allowed me to to do that every single individual has different motivators as a leader I try to be as transparent with who I am as possible so that my team can see that they too can be transparent and be themselves I would love to see the world one day where no one needs to come out. I would hope that one day the world would be accepting of all, no matter their gender, whether they are non-binary or who they choose to love. I have nieces and a nephew now and I'm so excited to see the world through their eyes. In, in that I feel that change coming through them and that makes me excited for the future.